At Blackfoot Communications, our mission is to connect people, businesses, and communities to their networks in Montana and beyond. Through Blackfoot sponsorships, local ambassadors, and public programs, we support initiatives such as the Emergency Broadband Benefit, Fiber Deployments, and Community Events. For information on our commitment to improving our communities with fast, reliable, and secure internet access, go to blackfootcommunications.com slash news. With us today, we got Coach Houck, we've got uh, offensive tackle Dylan Cook, and linebacker Jason Lewis. Uh, we'll start with some thoughts from Coach, and then we'll open it up to questions for the group. Uh, Coach, um, obviously a tough loss. Your initial thoughts um, on the team's performance today? Sure, James, thanks. <coughs> um, you know, first, congratulations to uh, to uh, James Madison. It was a good win by them. They, uh, they went out, they, I thought they played very well. Um, out and kind of took the game, and, and uh, you know, credit goes to them for, for playing a great football game and really holding us in check and uh, you know, making some plays against us. And, and they just did a really nice job. They're well coached, they've got good players, and, and uh, they played a great game. So, good job by them. Um, I'm proud of my team as well. Really, really love our team. I think we have a great football team. Uh, the attrition uh, through the season was really evident tonight. You know, we just didn't have enough left in the tank to go get this win, and uh, it, it was a difficult situation. I thought our guys uh, played their asses off and, and competed and played hard to the very end, uh, as they always do. And unfortunately, we didn't get the win. Uh, questions from the group. Bobby, the, the two long touchdowns in the first half, you just take us through those plays. Is there anything that they hit in particular that caught you guys off guard? No, they just executed. Um, you know, giving up the big play is not, has not been our Achilles heel this year. Um, we gave up three big plays in this game, and that was uh, no, probably really the difference in the game. So good job by them making it. They, they, just, they made plays, we didn't. And then when Cam goes down, what's the process like to the decision making to get from Chris Brown to Robbie Patterson in the second half? Um, well, we, you know, we start out trying to get the first downs, and then hopefully finish some drives and get some points. Uh, we didn't do a very good job of that, and then uh, we ended up talking it over at halftime. Decided Robbie gave us the best chance to, to score points and gave us the best chance to win. Jace, right after Cam went down, you had the big hit to force the fumble. So, did you feel like just as a defense, you guys needed to make a play right there? Yeah, I mean, I felt like that was a, a pretty good play after Cam went down, and it, and it was good for our defense to get a turnover and get an offense back on the field. It was a short field like that. So. Bobby, just uh, you know, Chuck, talk about your team's resiliency. Just you know, the injuries have been an issue all year, and they just kind of came to a head today. Just how these guys kept fighting against James Madison today. <coughs> yeah, Kyle, we we uh, got a really, as I always say, we've got a really competitive group, and um, you know, it, it just you get the point where you're you got a pretty young team to start with, and when you start losing guys, you get younger and younger, and eventually against this level of competition, uh, that takes its toll, you know. Um, it's just, it's playing a really good opponent is hard for, for guys that haven't played much or, or that youthful to come to play. And Dylan, just, you know, Sammy got hurt all of a sudden the first drive, and you know, how did the offense, I guess, try to, you know, balance with, him, with losing him, you know, such a key player, but he goes out right away, how did you guys kind of weather that storm as, as well as you could? Uh, we really kind of, just took it upon the offensive line and just kind of told each other we got to be able to run the ball uh, efficiently and, and get some yards. And we did towards the end, but just not good enough. Just in that second half, too, with Robbie coming in, just you know, your thoughts on the way he played and you know, seems from the very end, he was you know, doing everything he could to try to keep you guys in. Outstanding play by Robbie Patterson. He, uh, he came in with 
not a lot of reps on the season and came in and led the offense on two pretty good drives. Just couldn't close them out, but kudos to him. Dylan, you guys got into James Madison territory, I think, five times in the first two and a half quarters. Couldn't finish the drives, but what, what did anything change when James Madison got closer down the red zone defensively? Defensively? Yeah, well, like when James Madison was on defense, like did oh, they change anything defensively um, to kind of buckle down? Not really. They were kind of doing the same stuff. Like Coach Ox said, that's a good team over there, good defense. Um, they just they just knew how to bend and not break. How tough is it when you kind of see two of your senior leaders on the team and you know they have to go out early and they're sitting on the sidelines? I imagine it's just kind of you know difficult to, to watch. Uh, everything's tough in this program. We're kind of used to, to adversity, and we take that on as a challenge with a smile on our face because we look at it as another chance to step up and show who we are. Hey, Mark. Uh, Bobby. Go ahead, Bobby, Jason, the running back number five, Palmer. What made him so hard to bring down today? Uh, I'll start the week all up. I thought they played, I thought that Madison played well up front. You know, but that's where it starts. They played well up front. They had a good, good, uh, good offensive line. They did a good job. Yeah, I mean, oh, they have really good running backs. Like Coach Hobbs said, they have a really good old line that got some push for, for their running backs and you know, they made some plays. Jay Stillen mentioned just so many things being kind of tough this year, but you guys kind of embracing that. So how are we able to just have the effort you guys did, especially defensively all season long? Yeah, I mean, I think when you come to a place like Montana, you uh, learn very quickly that that's instilled with you, in you. And if, if you don't have that within you, you won't, you won't last long in this program. And I think that's a testament to every player that you saw out there today. And I think it's a pretty special thing Montana has going for them right now. Bobby, just, you know, this season as a whole, just, you know, your thoughts on this. Obviously, you know, it ended so quickly, but, you know, the well, Washington win to start it, you know, getting back at Eastern last week, beating the Bobcats, just, you know, how would you kind of sum up what's been a, you know, pretty special year for you guys? Yeah, I, I, uh, I really love this team. I think this is a great football team. Um, like I said, we didn't have enough in the tank tonight to get it done, but uh, you know, this is a special football team. It was really good, a lot of big wins. Anytime you're winning 10 games, it's a, it's a fine year. And, um, we're, we're back in business where we're competing for it every year now. And, and uh, I think there's great, that we're a young team, great things moving forward. So, um, you know, we'll digest this one and the season a little bit. Um, I don't want to push on to next year too soon because, as you mentioned, there were so many great things this fall and so much. Uh, it's just fun to see the joy back in Grizz Nation. Then for both Jason and Dylan, you know, a couple of guys who were walk on, you guys have had, you know, just different trajectories for your careers to get to this point. Just, you know, kind of sum up what it's been like playing for this program and what this year was like for both of you. Yeah, Montana's a special place, like I said. I mean, starting from the coaches down, the players, I mean, I love, I love, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And from where I started to where I am now, I mean, it's kind of surreal sitting here, you know, my career's done, but. I can't wait to come back and, and watch these guys go next year. And I mean, it's been a great year for us. For all yeah, um, you can't beat it, man. Like it's, uh, I'm just grateful and blessed that Coach Hop took a chance on me and, and allowed me to come here and, and give my all and earn a spot. And Grizz Nation, man, you can't beat it. For all three guys, what are you going to remember the most about this senior class? And how would you describe the impact this group has had on getting this football back to where you envisioned it? Well, I think the thing I remember is not just Saturday, it's the, the work put in, the effort level, the belief that uh, was developed. And, um, you know, as, as a group, they, uh, they, didn't, they really didn't think they could be beat. I think that confidence level permeated the young guys on the team when they walked in the door. I think that came from our senior group. One more. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. You always put the tape on, and there's a lot of things you could have done better. Um, but uh, great effort. I'm proud of the team, proud of the seniors. This team's overcome a lot. This was our 21st or 22nd game. I'm not quite sure. 
practice a lot of football games. Uh, we're looking forward to playing again. We'll, I guess we'll find out tomorrow night where that is. Montana's a good football team. Um, and uh, I'm sure we had a lot of great performances. So here we go. Coach, I'll just start off with, what did you like about the way you guys ran the ball tonight? It seemed like maybe one of your more efficient running games this yeah. season, especially. Well, they were game. playing a lot of uh, what we call joker. It's like a nickel package. Uh, and the, the, the touchdown run was a fastball. Um, and they weren't set, and we broke it, and we outran them. The first touchdown, uh, very multiple package. That took them out of man coverage. I, I don't know if we saw man coverage we, they did not play man coverage after that. Rav caught the ball, good throw by Cole. He outran the secondary. They played a lot of zone after that, um, which was surprising to me. And then, uh, you know, so. Coach, you, you mentioned Brad Mills touchdown. He, he has not been a big contributor for you in game this year. What, what did his touchdown mean for you? No, he has been um, from about – was Campbell before Elon or Elon before Campbell. We started doing a lot more four wide stuff. He's made big plays in every game from that point on. And and he got it started tonight. Hey coach, what about Sam Sam's performance tonight stand out to you? I know he had a targeting call in the second half, but overall what did you think about his performance and his improvement throughout the season? Well Calvin had thirteen tackles, Dorsey had twelve, Kid had eleven. Mike Green had nine, that's a lot for a D tackle. So Sam's been playing really consistent for us. I'm glad that targeting got overturned. You don't get to see that very often, but he did turn his head. And uh, so that's a lot of plays for all four of those guys. After you scored the 92-yard touchdown, how were you guys able to then carry that momentum? Say that again. After you guys scored the long touchdown, how were you able to carry that momentum uh, after that play? Yeah, you, you know, we, we had a few more turnovers than we normally do. I think Cole had a fumble, Van Horst had a fumble. Um, and, uh, you know, we had a real long run in the second half out midfield and then fumbled. Um, so, you know, we let them run the ball a little better than they should have. We let the quarterback out of the pocket too many times on defense. Um, so it wasn't perfect. But uh, everybody you play right now is a good team. So we got a lot of respect for one team. What were the challenges to the, the number 10 coming in at quarterback? Because he hasn't played a lot this year, not a lot of film on him. Yeah, he's got wheels, and, and uh, he proved he could throw the ball, too. He gave him a spark. Oh. You, you indicated a few times where Terrell was playing games, but he might not have been 100% here late in the season. Is he getting closer to that? Cause he looked like closer tonight. No. Yeah. yeah, his back started to tighten up and spasm on him, so we had to pull him a few times. So. But it was nice to see Bryant make that run on the touchdown. Coach, Pitts had a fifth uh, appearance in the semifinals in the last six seasons. What does it just say about the consistency that your program has been able to have year in and year out? It's a great brand, strong brand, uh, very attractive. That's why, you know, we uh, played a major role in the Sun Belt uh, reorganization. And, uh, but right now our focus is on finishing, uh, finishing up you know, the right way. So, um, you know, it starts at the top with the president, Charlie, Jeff Bourne. Jeff Bourne made the role. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of sports win championships. So, so we want to finish. Good? All right, thanks, guys. Players yeah, are yeah. So, uh, I mean, heading back to the semifinals, really a dominant performance all around tonight for this team. What do you think about the way you guys played? Yeah, I think we're <clears throat> so prepared coming into this game. Um, and it was a great challenge uh, on both offense and defense. Uh, our, our defense played lights out, you know, holding them to six points. And uh, we were able to really play a balanced football game on offense, um, able to both run the ball and pass the ball. So uh, I think when you're able to do that, you're kind of unstoppable, especially with us, you know, with our speed all around. So uh, a great, great team win. Guys get to go back to the semifinals after what happened um, in Texas last year. Just what does that mean to be able to finally get back here after this last year? It means a lot. It goes to show all, all the hard work that we put in. Um, we had a quick turnaround getting back in the season and having to play 
what, like 20 some games like the last year or so. So it just goes to show how much hard work we put in and get back to getting close to the first one. Yeah, I think that's what we play for. I mean, this is what we work for, this is what we play for. Um, it is big time games like this. So uh, it's been a lot of motivation losing in the semifinals last year. So we can use that throughout the whole summer and throughout this you know, entire year. Um, and I think guys are more motivated than ever. Which it looked like you were hitting the hole so fast with this week than you did last week. Are you getting closer to 100% healthy? How much does that help you guys as a team that you're able to break up the curve like that? Uh, yeah, I'm getting better and better every week. You know, playing running back, you take a lot of confidence, especially the type of running back that I am. I like contact, basically. So every week, I'm getting better and better. Continue to progress. Call offensively for you guys to be able to run the ball as successfully as you did tonight. Obviously, you've been able to pass it well all season. How important is that kind of moving forward now to, to be a little bit more balanced? Yeah, it feels really good, I think. Um, the only thing we kind of struggled with on offense tonight was you know, obviously the turnovers, two fumbles, myself and Saul. Uh, and that's kind of been something we've strived to, to not have on, on offense uh, this season. So um, in these big time games, that's something you got to eliminate. Uh, and that's something we'll do next week. Uh, but I think it was a great team win. Cole, Coach was talking about uh, uh, Devin and his, and his role growing this season. What, what did that play mean to the team to start the game tonight? What, what can you say about his role as it's grown? Yeah, I, I think uh, we knew they were going to come out aggressive and, and blitz us some. Um, and I think that was the first uh, you know, snap where they were all brought all out blitz. Um, and Devin, I, I think he's a, a super underrated wide receiver for us. Um, you know, he obviously was hurt a little bit at the beginning of the year. And um, I think he's just as twitchy and as explosive as any of the other uh, receivers. So uh, I kind of saw him on a crossing route, uh, over route. Put the ball in his hands and he, he took off with it. Montana has one of the best run defenses in the country. You guys found more lanes than anybody has all year. So, how are you able to gash them? Uh, well, we knew that they like twisting their uh, interior defensive line. So, we pretty much took advantage of that. And a lot of things can get messed up. Like, a lot of holes might not be hit. So, we just took advantage and found where uh, their mistakes. And on the long touchdown, it, it seemed like you guys maybe got him out of gaps even before the snap even started. So and for both of you guys, actually, Cole, maybe what you saw pre-snap on that play? Yeah, I think it was just a, a quick fastball. And um, sometimes teams struggle to get lined up. And, uh, I, I think, you know, our, they were kind of keying on the pass uh, initially. And um, we were kind of more scared of the pass, and that really opened up the run game. Um, and we took uh, like a full advantage of that. Um, that's a really good defense. I mean, uh, two, of those, uh, two of those guys are, you know, up above Buckley and Ward. And, it's a really good defense, so I'm glad of the way we played. Cole, you guys pretty much used a ton of receivers in that receiver room. Just what did you see from all of them? I know Scott Bracey was involved too in that. Yeah, I think, um, you know, top to bottom, I think we have the best wide receiver room in FCS. Uh, a guy like you know, Scott Bracey coming in and making a lot of great catches tonight. Um, and yeah, hasn't, you know, hasn't had as many targets throughout the season. Um, I think those guys just work their butts off. And, uh, I truly believe that you know, we do have the best FCS wide receiver in the country. And then, like, the defense had, there are multiple players with multiple tackles and ten, at least 10 plus tackles. Just what does that say about the whole defense today on that uh, That's what we, we preach as a defense, just getting to the ball, playing fast, and um, having a relentless effort the whole game. Uh, it goes to show what our coaches put it into, or like the plays that we put, we, uh, we ran today. We had some great calls. He was blitzing some of the runs right into the face of the runs. And, I think Coach Hasman did a great job setting players, putting players in the right position. Got time for two more. This will be for you too, Mike. Uh, just the consistency of this program, five semifinal appearances in the last six years, and you've been part of a lot of those. What does it say about the fact that you guys have been able to continually get back here? It, it means a lot. Like it, it, like I said earlier, it goes to show all the hard work that we put in, the long summers, the, the spring balls, the, the fall camps. Like, I mean, this is probably my last game, potentially my last game in Bridgeville. Hopefully, we can play another one. But uh, it meant a lot to go out there and win this one today. And, um, it was a good way to end this, this is the game. Any other questions? All right. We'll now have uh, the locker room.